Hello everyone, this is James from All Outdoors, and today we're having a look at the Ruger LCP Max. It is a higher capacity 10 or 12 shot pocket pistol chambered in 380 ACP. And we're going to shoot it side by side with the original 6 shot Ruger LCP, one that I've carried for years, just so we can get a comparison. Alright, let's take a close look at the LCP Max. It looks a lot like the LCP2, but it is higher capacity. A lot of small pocket autos are only holding 5 or 6 rounds to keep the form factor down, but this one comes with a 10 round magazine in the box. And there you can see the magazine release at work, and the double stack to single stack magazine. And you can see we have a true slide lock and a slide stop. Unlike the original gun, this one should lock open on an empty magazine. These sights are much higher profile than you would expect for a pocket pistol. We have a serrated rear metal sight and a front high-vis tritium sight in the front, of course, and it does glow in the dark. These sights are phenomenal, like I said, for a pocket pistol. And the rear is high enough in terms of profile so you can actually rack the gun off of a table. This is especially handy if you have problems manipulating a small gun like this but you get some serrations in front of the trigger guard and overall the polymer frame is hand filling. The Max is a single action gun and you can see the hammer is cocked most of the way when the slide is worked to the rear and has a very short sharp pull of the trigger to set the gun off. The trigger breaks at about 6 pounds not any better than the original LCP but it is a lot shorter and you do have a trigger safety so you have to deliberately pull the trigger in order to set the gun off. Alright, I have a paper target set up at 7 yards away. I'm going to give it a little bit of a whirl with the LCP Max. I'm getting used to the trigger a little bit, but uh, so far so good. I have 6 rounds. I'm going to put it in the mag, just take a little group. We'll see what happens. All right, there are six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. With the LCP Max from seven yards. That's a pretty good little group, but it takes a little bit of trying. This is still a very lightweight, easy to move around little pistol. At the bottom, we have the LCP Max, and at the top, we have the original LCP. I'm using my original model as a stand-in for the similarly sized LCP2. Both are of similar length, but the grip is shorter on the LCP as well as thinner. 0 0.770 of an inch versus 0 0.930 for the LCP Max, a little bit thicker. However, the slide width on both is only three quarters of an inch, and the LCP Max is only about two ounces heavier fully loaded, and it is more fully featured. After a thousand rounds downrange with the LCP Max, I came away pretty impressed with the little gun. It digested hollow points and ball ammo of typical weights without any failures to fire or feed. One thing I didn't get to try was steel cased ammunition, such as the case of ammo availability at the filming of this review. About the only malfunction I can think of was my meeting hands getting in the way of the slide lock preventing the gun from locking open in the last shot. And that's really about it. In terms of shootability, I had a lot more time with my original model and it shows. The sights are big and visible 
and easy to get on target, but not so much when it comes to shooting for groups. With that said, the slightly bigger grip on the Max does give some real real estate when it comes to getting a grip on the gun, controlling recoil, and of course the shorter trigger is a little more forgiving than the longer, more atrocious trigger pulls on other guns. Unlike other small 380s, I would recommend this one for new shooters because it is more forgiving uh, for a pocket pistol. And the LCB Max does satisfy in terms of other features that more experienced shooters can appreciate. Thank you for watching.